Alright team, Scott Brown here. This is another exciting episode and we are in the episode where the beams actually go up. It's all happening today. Let's uh, show you what we're contending with. That's it down the bottom. As you work your way up. Yeah. That is out of plumb. And then, in this room, the big beam goes through here over this entire wall. Now we're adding in the full stud and the understud. Put it in there, Scott. Oh, well, I'm glad you asked, Pato. I am setting up this laser to the height of our, well, it's going to be the bottom of one beam and the top of another. So these beams are not steel, they are laminated veneer lumber, they are massive plywood basically. So the glued together timber is stronger than just regular timber. And it means we don't have to deal with steel. How fancy it is. Oh my god. Is that good? So there you go there, that's what the timber looks like when you cut it. Plywood, pretty much plywood. I nailed, so maybe you guys should lift. Seeing as I nailed, <laughs> that's that's. Oh, that sounds fair. Yeah. Yeah. Should we double them up? Yeah, we've doubled. Oh, we've yeah. made them even heavier. Yep. So, uh, do you want to say hi to the camera, Pillu? Oh, hello. Me and Apilu uh, did our apprenticeship at the same company. We started like a week apart from each other. Right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Since the beginning, oh, you said, like, gave me a ride home. It was Twenty years ago. Yeah, we're good, right? Oh, this is what we call smooth sailing. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Good timing, Philip. Yeah. So now that the beam's in, we can prop the ceiling on this side of the beam. Holy moly. Welcome back, Scott. Yeah, I was just outside uh, cutting the grass. <laughs> Guess what? It's the exciting moment where the beam goes up. Now for the camera desktop. Right now, we're about to put a big beam up. Nicely done. Hey. So what we're we going to Yeah. It's pretty light. Pretty light.
Ever picked up a piece of timber and <laughs> wondered if it was the right piece? It is the right piece. Scott Brown here. Today, well yesterday the beams went up and today we have to actually do the work that connects the beams to the existing structure. And then we take all the walls out. I love these kind of days. These, these are great. So the timber that is on the roof there is for a ceiling runner. And a ceiling runner is simply a piece of wood that runs along the ceiling. <laughs> and that's it. Before we put that ceiling runner up there, I've got a bit of a list of things. When you're doing tasks like this, um, it's easy to just rely on your memory and the steps that you know you need to take and then just sort of go through them in your head. But I find that writing them all down is far better. Yesterday when we put all the beams up, I had a step-by-step -step guide on my phone that was like, set laser to height of understuds, install understuds, da da da, -da. you know, every step after that. I feel like that's almost like downloading your brain, so you don't have to constantly keep that information in your head as you're trying to physically do the work, and it actually makes the job run a lot smoother, and also if you can send the guys the same list, then everyone's got a reference point. They don't have to constantly look to me and go, oh, what are we doing next, Scott? So I've done that for today. And the first thing on that list is straighten big beam and secure to jack studs. This is the big beam. And it's sitting on these understuds here. But a jack stud is what sits above your lintel and goes to the top plate. That supports the roof and it needs to be secured to the beam. And I noticed yesterday that this beam's kind of sitting with a bit of a hump in it. So we're going to try and straighten that and secure it to them. So my string line says it needs to go out 10 mil. Quite a bit. All right, back to the list. Straight in big beam and secure to jack stars. Check. And then all I have to do is look at this, add fixings to both beams. See, I don't have to think, this is great. Those are all the connections at the posts and beams. I've uh, mentioned this in a previous episode. The way to read what um, connections you need is on the plans here. See that beam there says L1 at the start of it? Well that corresponds with here, L1. And as you can see it says type F fixing. Now at the back they always have pretty much like a copy paste document that um, is available to most architects. It will show you the different connections that you can use for a type F. There's type F there. And it's got two little two T4s at the bottom and then a strap up there. So that's how I know where to put those connections. There are more connections to do, but they're mostly up in the ceiling. there that's the ceiling joist and because we're taking the walls out it was all twisted and everything and there's a lot of timber up there that's kind of joining on walls walls that we're removing so I'm gonna go up there and sweat another few kilos off fixing those ceiling joists
Just add a little bit, bro. What about that cable there? Like that one as well, eh? Uh, no, that's all good. So we're aiming for the middle here. Just gonna get into position. Okay. Oh, yeah, so you need to right back. Yeah, I need to go back to get past our front. And then, what did you say? So, you okay, go down, there. down and then to the right? Yeah, going down there. It's over here, but he needs yeah, to go yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we'll just, uh, this there, there. That's where. Is there any wide option? Not there, mate. He's in there. Oh, he's just going to go Let's go. We go. Oh, look. Okay. that he's had readings of 48 degrees Celsius up in that roof and um, I think I believe him. <sighs> Wish I bought two t-shirts. There you go, all that ceiling work, all that roasting inside the ceiling leads to this moment. Ugh. Where the walls come down and the whole place opens up. Oh.